Hey everybody, Massman in A4, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Ash. Last time we fought at the Battle Chateau. That was pretty fun. And we made our way to Salage City, where we'll be taking on our second Kalos Gym badge. We'll be going up against Grant, the rock type gym leader. Would never let my Grant can stay here. They should grow up in a city where the culture is stronger. Raihorn. What's up here? Oh, this is to leave, right? Yeah, we're going too far ahead of ourselves. I need to pass this on to someone else. Want to learn Ominous Wind? That's a special type. Ghost attack. No thanks. Nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Come back anytime. Well, cool. We know that's there now. What's going on here? Is this a town? Shell gun. It is a town. Oh, the gym's in a cave. This path is pretty tough. I try to hike it every day. This is surprising. I've got a surprise for you. Lots of cookie. I'm pretty sure that heals any status condition. Do we come this way? You would think we would have a water here, water gym here, but no, we got born rocks. Swimming is such good exercise. This town is huge. I never want to stop fishing. I could do it to the end of time. All right, this is Route Eight. Okay. Somewhere in town, they're giving away free revived fossils. They hit a jackpot and promoting the research. Fossil Pokemon. We've discovered loads of fossils that have more than enough to give away. Want to have your very own tyrant? Sure. We got a tyrant! Dun. Tyrant's pretty cool. Unfortunately, Ash doesn't have one. We've discovered loads of fossils that have more than enough to give away. Want to have your very own Amura? Sure. We got an Amura! Ash does not have an Amura in the anime. <laughs> So in the PC box you go! Never used an Amora, but that typing looks horrendous. Rock Ice? Sheesh! Alright. So we know Grant's pretty tough. And it's once again another rock type gym! Grant is a Pokemon I've never seen before. How am I supposed to win if I don't know how, what to fight? Unfortunate. Hello! Would you like me to groom one of your Pokemon? Yeah, groom my... Froakie, please. And... Groom my Fletchling. And... Groom my Pikachu. So the gym rules in a Slosh gym is a gym leader will use two Pokemon and the trainer can use as many as they want that they have in their party. So Grant's a pretty confident gym leader, aka will not hold back. I'm ready to duel with you? I should have known. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, you have the Psychic Seeds. Ooh, Master Ball. Uh, we'll buy coins later from ability capsules. I wonder if you guys know. Explain the rules. Nope, don't care. Pokemon Lottery Corner. Hey, maybe we might win something. <gasps> I want something. The number, the ID number of your PC box, Buizel. Let's go, Don. 
Monster Ball? Sure, we'll take it. But Dawn came through. We didn't win of our own ID number, we won of somebody else's. Alright, off to the gym. I think we talked to everybody in town. At least I hope so. The wild yet cool and collected rock climber. What I found really cool about Grant is in his gym, it's uh, rock climbing. So uh, he encourages trainers to climb, to climb the mountain or to climb the wall. Grant uses rock type Pokemon. They're weak against water, grass, fighting, ground, and steel types. Despite all the weaknesses, they are strong against fire, bug, flight, and ice. Normal and poison moves also don't do much damage. So um, he lets trainers climb up there. Kind of a way to test them and to show his appreciation for for rock climbing, and it's it's really cool. And there's also an option if you really want to. If you really don't want to climb the wall, you can just take the elevator. And I love the questions that he uh, he asks Ash, like what were you thinking about when you were climbing the wall, and where where was he looking? So it's, it's a nice little test, you know? Big fan. Grant's pretty cool. Oh no, not the sleep... sleepiness. Wait, you had two Pokemon, right? Probably could've just got rid of you. Thunderbolts! And, uh, this is the first... Or, this is, I guess, uh, Serena and them did help during the first gym battle. But, uh, Serena knows the weight of a, a gym battle. Because she was there from the second Ash knew about the new gym leader up until, um, the actual fight. So she knows how tough it is to earn a gym badge. But that fight was really good. Uh, again, X and Y has fantastic fight choreography. It was a good fight. Big fan of it. Get lost? What do you mean, get lost? That's not a proper way to introduce people to the gym. So rock! Dude, no Geodude? I'm content. I hope there's not a single Geodude in here. Luckily, the gym leader doesn't have one. <laughs> It's hard to see that. The floating rock with arms. Grr. You're rude. I'm so ashamed. You better be. Feel ashamed. Hello there, young one. Hello! Right on these nuts! Not that! that. Skull, let's go! Alright, Smackdown. Wait, hold up. Rock type move. Although, we have flying coverage, we have fire coverage, ground coverage, rock coverage, I guess for ice types. And bug types. You know what? Sure, whatever. I didn't even know Froakie could learn SmackDown. That's interesting. Nose Pass! I love Nose Pass. I'll never use one, but I just love it in the enemy. No, oh, never mind. I hate I hate this. I hate this guy. <laughs> Whoa, Onyx! Ooh. Fight it, Froakie! Oh, are you kidding me? Three turns in a row? There's no, there's no way. I was about to say, this is rigged! Haha, -ha, why are you laughing? Did you paralyze my frog? So the way Ash take tackles uh, Rock Tomb is, uh... The name, the name needs work, but basically... This is kind of a staple. I mean, Ash kind of had the strategy done before in the past of Pikachu, but basically, 
Uh, all of his Pokemon right now are pretty small, right? So the advantage of being small is that it'll be easier to dodge stuff and use terrain more. So Ash will have his Pokemon jump on the rocks. So not only do they dodge the move, they get more elevation. It's a pretty good strategy. Rock Tomb Climb. How'd you climb up here already? I took the stairs! Rockin'! That's sturdy, alright. All in vain. Alright. Time to go heal. Um, um, uh, uh, um. Okay, um, I thought I missed a building, and I walk in here, and this guy starts the sentence off by my life. My wife left me. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. Jennifer. Oh, no. Wait, wasn't there a gym that they would give me someone if I won? Was that Santa Loon? I'll probably check right after this. Alright, we're gonna start off with Froakie. We're gonna try and Froakie sweep. We should be able to, because I already know the Pokemon that he's going to use. And, um, we have EXP share on Fletchling, so we're not gonna send it out. I know I have Steel Wing to deal with rock types, but we got Pikachu in the back. Pikachu ends up clean cleaning the house in this gym. But Froakie does a good job. So we're going up against the final boss of rock types for beginner gyms. And you all know what that Pokemon is. We fought one earlier today. Good job, kid. You've climbed all the way up here without any help. I can't ignore that kind of will. Let's go all out. Don't worry. In this gym, you can use as many Pokemon as you want. Don't hold back. Alright. You are challenged by gym leader Grant. Onyx, go! That's the Pokemon I'm talking about. So let's go for a Skull. Oh, not sturdy rock polish. Uh-oh. Quick attack! So the next Pokemon that it has that he has is Tyrant. A rock and dragon type. So Pikachu had a win at a matchup disadvantage. Not because it's a rock type, because it's a dragon type. This Tyrant's pretty cool. It can jump super high, has crunch. It has Dragon Tail, has Rock Tomb, of course. It's a villain. And Draco Meteor! Draco Meteor is quite the powerful move in the anime. In the games too, but more so in the anime. And what's great about that fight is Ash wasn't even really ready for that. I'm impressed, you've conquered this mountain. So with Pikachu, he's able to do a Draco Meteor climb because he iron tailed the, the rocks on his way on his way up, which is super cool. You've earned the cliff badge! We've got a cliff badge! Rollout. Sick. Unfortunately, in the English dub, like, Pikachu uh, jumping up the Draco Meteor gets ruined because of the inappropriate flute music. In the Japanese version, it's, it's Pog. <laughs> TM-118 contains rollout. It gets stronger with each hit. I honestly don't see myself ever using rollout. Unless it's for a Pokemon that's a pre-evolve on Ash's team or something, I don't know. Alright, we beat the gym. I want to go to Santa Loon City real quick. I feel like there's a town that, or a house where I would have gotten a reward. Or maybe I'm just remembering around it. Maybe I just had a dream about it and it wasn't real. Cause that do be happening sometimes. Okay. 
dreams of random stuff and I think it that happened and it did not happen. It's very awkward. I'm looking for a bundle bee. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. You've come far from home, are you feeling well? Yeah. any houses left, I might have... This might have not happened. Now this is the school. Yeah, I probably dreamt it. Alright, let's head back to Sly City. And we're gonna end off the episode here. So next time on Pokemon Fire Ash, we'll be hitting up the third gym. And, uh, Grant puts a little bit of foreshadowing, or a little bit of a, uh, warning that the next gym's gonna be something Ash has never faced before. And we'll find out when we get there. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and sign our.